Hello everyone, welcome to yet another tutorial. Today we are going to look at how to create a glowing crystal like this in Maya. Alright, so let us get started and see how to start from scratch. So we'll go to File, New Scene. I'll save this one and we will start with a cylinder. Okay, and the cylinder we will make the subdivisions to 5 and then the height segment will make it 3. Okay, then we'll go to vertex mode, select this vertex and move it up. We don't need the bottom part because that will be inside the ground. So we'll go to face and select all these faces and delete them. Okay. Then we'll go to vertex mode and we will scale these inside. Okay. And then we'll select the whole thing and scale it up get a long crystal looking shape. We'll move it above the ground and then now we need to make it uneven so you can move it around okay and then we'll add Modeling, edit mesh bevel. Okay, so the bevel value will be 0.1 and segment will be 2 is good enough. Okay, so we get softer edges. So now from here after, we just have to make multiple of these. So I will go to edit, delete by type history. Shift B to duplicate. Uh, I'll name this crystal crystal one. Okay, so once you create one, we can rotate rotate it around, scale it around, make it narrow vertex mode and move things around so it looks slightly different than the first one okay so that looks good that would be our second one I will shift D to create a third one, place it here, rotate it around in the direction and again right click vertex and then you can make some changes. Okay, so it can have a better spread there. And that's about it. So we can print the size shift P, copy it here, and then you just have to make a bunch of these. What we will do is this main one. Maybe it is rotated at an angle here and then this peeps up from behind. And then we will rotate it okay. Move it in the front.
rotate it around this will be smaller duplicate it now I'll make a few smaller ones really small Okay, now what we will do is we'll add a plane so we know what is below the ground, what is above the ground. We can also add a sphere and then maybe everything is growing out from the sphere. It can be scaled down like this. So this can be like the base. And then these things are growing out from this. Go to wireframe and find the small one. All right. So I'll copy this one, move it around, rotate it, scale it. Shift D. Shift D. This is strange. Every time I duplicate, they become smaller. So I'll delete this one. Shift D, this one. Now it didn't become small. Okay, so you have this uh, bunch of crystals. Maybe you can create uh, some more in the back. Okay, I don't want to spend too much time modeling these. So this one, uh, we'll click on this and then click middle mouse click and drag so it only has one segment then we'll go to edge select this edge and shift and move up then we'll select this edge and go to edit mesh bevel then we can add a bunch of segments go to edit delete by type history object mode we'll go to so our basic modeling is done now what we need to do is um, we'll select this and we actually select everything control select this and go to mesh combine you can see the whole thing becomes a crystal Edit, delete by type history. So now we just have a object. I'll name it floor and a crystal. All right. So this the whole thing is one object. Now we'll add a camera. So go to create cameras, camera and aim. So this camera is going to aim at this crystal. Okay, go to panels, perspective, camera. We go to view, camera setting and show resolution gate. Then go to 
render settings and change this to 720 by 405 this is what I'm using renderable camera is camera 1 and I had placed it off centered here and then this plane will go in the middle and we will scale it out then panels perspective perspective we'll move this back in make this longer so we can put the crystal in the front panels perspective camera so we'll zoom out and then we'll further scale this big all right so our basic camera setting is done. We'll save this file. File saves in crystal clip for tutorial. Alright, so for materials, I will right click on the floor, go to assign new material, and we are going to use Arnold standard surface. Same thing for this, go to assign new material. Arnold standard surface okay uh, so the crystal material has a zero weight full transmission and then emission of 0.2 and then we'll go to Arnold and I'll render view and you turn it on and you see how the crystal is looking now okay now what we will do is we will select this and we'll change the color of emission to say blue and then it can be a lighter blue Okay, what we will do is whenever we change colors transmission will also be blue we'll leave it to pure blue so if there are variation in colors then you get this different look to it okay the image So if there is no emission, it looks like this. The emission is 0.1. It looks like this. Emission 0.2. Like this. Alright. Now what we will do is, we will make this a light source as well. So we will select the Crystal, go to Arnold Lights Mesh Light. Okay, and then if you render it, the mesh disappears. And here, if you see the crystal, crystal has become a light. If you go to light attributes, we have to under mesh attributes, we have to say show original mesh and it comes back. And then now, if you play with the light intensity of two, intensity of actually, we'll leave it at two. Because if and then image exposure will increase it to 2. And if you deselect normalize, it will add more light. And then you can change the color of the light 
So again, we use a blue color and then change the shade of the blue. So you can play with these values to get the desired result. Okay, so if you turn the light visible, you get a different look. Normalize. We can play with the edit delete by type history so we have access to this uh, we can play with the material for the plane uh, which is white in color so we can make it darker Okay, and then we can play with the roughness so you get better reflection specular color okay So we are changing the properties of the floor now and it is affecting our crystal as well. Uh, one more thing I want to show you is if you go to Arnold Renderer and go to Environment and click on Atmosphere, we can add Volume Light and then say we need a very small the 0.01 and it will add some foggy effect the 0.1 is too much but 0.01 or 0.02 will further add some foggy effect and then you can go to your color and make it further dark Okay, so if you want that foggy effect. So that's about it. We are done here. The last thing is to go to render settings and then make it say 1280 by 720. And Arnold Renderer, we increase these samples to get a better quality render. Okay, so I can use 4 by 4 by 4 and see how it looks. It's going to take some time for this to render. Okay, but that's about it. So thank you very much for watching this tutorial and stay tuned for many more to come. Bye bye.